The way you use mirages. Only Luce Farna ever held such power over them. Tell me, who are you? Huh? Luce Farna, you said? <sighs> but that's our... mother. Hey, you're right. That was her name. Uh, listen, you wouldn't happen to know this, Luce Farna. Let me show you something. Same one mom used to wear. What? Then it's her? Right. I knew I recognized it. The ornament on Yuna's staff. Roughly 100 years ago, a champion from another world saved Grimoire. Her name was Luce Farna. Huh? Mom did that? But a hundred years. It doesn't make sense. Mom's a champion? And this is some kind of monument to her? So... You keep saying that Lady Luce was your mother. Again, may I ask who you are? Well, uh... No memory? That is strange. Do you think you might be able to tell us a little more about Lady Luce? We'd appreciate anything at all. I'm sorry. I only know the common legends. The ones Grimoire's people had grown up with. Fine. We'll take anything. Sometime around a century ago, the world of Grimoire was nearly destroyed by a being that has come to be known as the Demon Dyer. Luce Farna prevented this by creating the Ultima Gate, a bridge to salvation from which she summoned three heralds straight from the realm of the gods. Thus, she became Grimoire's champion. That definitely sounds like something out of mythology. Bridging the gap between worlds is a serious accomplishment. She must have been amazing. That she was. But sadly, even though she managed to save the world from the demon Dyad, huh? the Heralds, all three of them, chose to remain here in Grimoire. And one of them is now Grandalus, King of Bahamut. Huh? But Bahamut? That's the Federation that attacked Cornelia! Yes. After they finished saving the world, Grandalus and the others harnessed a legion of new mirages and slowly took control of Grimoire's lands, building a powerful federation. A legion of new mirages? Vaughn, you don't think there's any connection to the ones we lost, do you? What? That's not possible. We're talking about a hundred years ago. But where have we been? Nightwood Hills, which Anna Crow told us, was a world without time. Right, Tama? Right there you are! Compared to other the worlds, the concept of time there is, let's say, more than a little bit the unusual. So, if you want to know just the how long you were there, there's really the no way to measure. Dude, what? Um, if you don't mind my asking, whatever happened to Lady Luce? After the Heralds came? Unfortunately, we don't know for sure. Some say summoning the Heralds was an act that cost her her life. While others say she lives as a prisoner in the Herald's castle, her freedom lost forever. Prisoner? What? Well then, where can we find this castle? I wish I could help, but I don't know where to find it. Not just me. No one. Not even the soldiers in their army. They say Brandalus keeps its whereabouts a secret. Huh? How do you hide a big honking castle? Hey, take it easy. Come on. It's a legend. Are you really gonna get all worked up over something carved on a rock? They share the same name. That doesn't automatically have to mean they're the same person. Well, yeah, maybe not. But you can't try and tell me this is just a coincidence. Would you listen? All the stuff we're remembering? Like Mom's name? What if it turns out none of it is true? But I guess there's no point in telling Lon that. What is it already? Oh, just forget it. If it's Bahamut that you're after, you should start in one of the Federation's member states and do your asking around there. Seronia lies further north. I believe they just joined the Federation. What? Dude, what? 
But I thought Seronia was the place we're going to. Then Princess Sarah must not have known. Oh well, you've already made it this far. Yeah. We wouldn't be very good emissaries if we turned back now. And we did promise to ask about the League of S. I'm real sorry I raised my voice at you. I uh, know you were trying to help us out, so thanks. No, I should be sorry for attacking you. It was wrong to accuse you of being something you're clearly not. So, uh, I got a question. Is it fair to say this this whole place is very representative of Bacalania Woods from Final Fantasy X? To get uh, to Seronia, that's, you that's just my question for everyone out there. If you have mirages who can use fire magic, you may find your passage considerably easier. Yeah, the next area is pretty frozen, but Seronia. Uh, Final Fantasy 3, everybody. Final Fantasy 3. We're going to get some 3 references going on. So that that should be interesting. Again, it shall be Ragnarok, a battle initiated by new champions, and yet to whose salvation? You're beyond salvation. <laughs> An illusion. Hm. Well, no matter. A chase is more to my liking. A tire is simply waiting. Well, I don't really have anything to add other than damn. Save my progress? Well, I guess I could save my progress. I mean, did go through a boss battle. It was pretty epic, you know. We had our first legitimate Pokemon battle. Well, actually, no. I guess technically we we had that already. But still, I mean, it's it's interesting. It wasn't one of the other uh, Bamushin soldiers. You know what I mean? It was actually a legitimate, like, uh, Lilikin against huh? us. That's impressive. What's up, sis? Oh, it's probably nothing. I just have a strange feeling. Ooh, teleport stone. Oh. So we can use that as ma- Okay, so it's basically just, like, the rope from Pokemon. Except, uh, unlimited uses. I just have a strange feeling. Kind of familiar, but also kind of scary. If a monster you puts you to sleep, you won't be able to do anything while you're dozing. You can hit your own allies to wake them up. Oh, that hey. Sit well All right. Another Sweet. Is to use a pick -me -up. Here, you can have this one. Everybody's so nice to me. Also, why am I not using the joyride ability? Oh, man, we're going to, we're going to the ice region. Chapter 6. Solace from the ice. Oh, man. I'm freezing my butt off out here. No kidding. Hey, let's take shelter at that in there. Well, I guess that's what I'm doing. Here we go. Charlotta Solace. Ah, so much warminess. Oh, um, hello there. Would it be okay if we rest here for a little bit? Sure. The Solace wouldn't be much of an inn if we turned away freezing travelers. Thank goodness. Oh, we don't see very many giants these days. What? Lon, what are you... Whoops. Uh... Oh, she doesn't really seem all that shocked. Hmm? Oh, well, I'm sure some folks would make a fuss. But I remember a time when giants wouldn't warrant a second look. It's only lately your kind has truly gotten scarce. But even then, I doubt anyone's eyes have been popping out. Well, now that you mention it, I guess not. Ah, don't give it a second thought. Everyone is welcome under my roof. 
Although it would help if you did a little shopping before you go on your merry way. Good idea. I wonder if she's got anything to keep us warm. That would help. Oh man, that's sure a lot of from the Chris Chronicles that goes with that. Which, to be honest, I never played, so, uh... Yeah, sorry about that. I, you're a reference that I don't really understand, but I'll tell you something Ooh, you, that I do understand. Is this for warming up? Oh, this looks nice and toasty. Excuse me, how much do you want for this? Hmm? Wait a sec. Tell me you're not planning to cross the ice fields. We kind of have to get to Seronia. <sighs> Forget it, don't even bother. Making the trip at this time of year would be difficult enough on its own. But for a while now, the ridge has been overrun by nasty mirages. No traveler is safe. Giant or Lilikin, you would be torn right to pieces. <laughs> oh yeah? We can handle some mirages. You can just point us right at those suckers. <laughs> huh? Oh, you see, we're mirage keepers. And we're actually on a journey right now to gather as many of them as we can. Right? Yes, the siree! Oh, wow! We have had a lot of guests over the years, but you two are definitely my first ever Mirage Keepers. Uh, excuse me? Hmm? Um, sorry to intrude. My name is Rafia. You see, I've been stuck here in the inn for a while now because of all the mirages in Icicle Ridge. Rafia! Are you certain about this? Yes. I've made up my mind. <sighs> Don't give me that look. I won't stop you. Honestly. <sighs> hey, Mirage Keepers. Huh? Yes? You did say you're on your way to Seronia, right? That's right. In fact, you might say that we're on a mission of sorts for Cornelia. So we can't stay here long. Good grief. I must be the only one around here with a lick of sense. Okay, fine, you win. But at least take along the Warlock's warmer. In exchange, I want you to let Refia here go along on the trip with you. She knows a bit of white magic. You can't say no to that. Charlotta. Hey, no skin off my nose. Or mine. Besides, if she can use white magic, she'd really be doing us a favor. Great, everybody wins. So, if that's settled, why not rest up before you go? Woo! Got the warlocks warmers. So I guess next time we got a travel companion. That's pretty dope because we haven't really had one of those. So next time on the road to Saronia.